Alright, so last, let's see, mm, updates on these, I think this is probably four, five days ago, I made a bunch of graphs, <clears throat> and I'm going to update you on a few of them here, well, all of them, but two of them in this first batch that I want to look at specifically. I took some photos and shared them in a Facebook group, I'll try to find that post and update it, but... So you can see right here. That was a runt, so that seedling is older than it looks. I unfortunately, when I planted this particular batch of seeds, did not write the date down. If I wanted to, I could go track it through photos, but... Those are flying saucers crossed with... No, they're... Hmm. Imam Kermes... Carmesina near Tersh North from Richard Hip. Those two on the end there. And I noticed as well that this one unfortunately it healed, but it's not on the vascular tissues on on the ring. <clears throat> I think that's definitely going to cause it issues. It probably won't work. Unless it happened to latch onto a ring from one of the aerials. Maybe. Um, and then, yeah, all these ones in front here are FS Terrace Check EI. And uh, so that one in the back there is a little variegated. Some pink variegation. They all healed, even the one down there on that side pup. And these were all done without pressure in a tote. So um, I'm just going to start pulling these guys out, basically, and getting them acclimated. And then I have some that I'm trying these again. And I'm going to set these inside the tote and let them heal. These are from the mystery... Cactus, oh, whoops, cactus box I found in my greenhouse under a shelf for months. It was completely dry and all the seedlings in it are still alive and I watered them and they perked right up. And so I was just grafting a few of the runts onto these lumberjack scopes to see, uh, you know, if I can boost them up a little, just a little bit. if these guys all took or not. <clears throat> so these were a Super, super Pedro Scope um, from DK. They were planted on 11 2 17. And then on here, these are SSO2 crossed with BBB planted on 11 2 17. Um, they're all good. They all took for now. Um, it's kind of always, you never really can tell. Like once you bring them out of the humidity dome, it can get a little gnarly. But I try not to be too nice to them. I mean, they're pretty heavily watered. They're turning a little yellow still, but maybe a little lack of light, probably lack of nutrients. Probably give them some fertilizer here in a little bit after a couple days. Just a really uh, even NPK, you know, whatever number it is, as long as it's just all the same all the way across the board, is fine in small amounts. Very infrequently. The way I kind of do it, like every three or four months.
if you're going to add fertilizer, if your soil's high powered, you don't really need to worry about it. <clears throat> Got some roots coming out the bottom. So let's see, this is SSO201 Pecanoi on this side, and this side is H from the Huntington Botanical Gardens, apricot glow, question mark, over by the lizards. And you can thank my good buddy Richard Hip for these as well. Got a double whammy going right there. Who knows? I don't know about that top one. It's looking a little sketchy. Excuse my shaky hands. It's amazing I can hold it that straight. I mean, these are tiny. I shouldn't. I don't know. This is for like experimental purposes only. I mean, they'll still produce. If they stay on there and they grow, they'll do good. Next year, I'll chop them up even more and put them on bigger stocks outdoors in the greenhouse so they can actually get to their full size. But I can skip a few months of waiting and kind of get them, get them going before summer really has a chance to kick in. And then they can go outside and get really big. <clears throat> so let's see all of these are um so these are possibly all a cross between one of my lichtenbergia plants and my astrophytums and I got the seeds the mom is the astro um, the potential father is a lichtenbergia I did cross pollinate them with a paintbrush and intentionally put pollen into each other and I got fruits from both. I don't but I do have a few other astros in the greenhouse so I can't be totally sure that some bug or a bee or something didn't just fly from one end of the greenhouse to the other with some pollen. They could just be a different astro hybrid but I don't know. There's some cool potential with these ones. That's why I grafted them because I was. So, oh, and it looks like we got our first fatality on this in this batch of ones that didn't actually take. But all the other ones still look good. That one on the back is pretty. <laughs> it's bouncing on there like barely. It's pretty intense. It'll be fine once they get big enough. It won't really make much of a difference. Probably not really get to focus here. Got it. And even got that guy. Excuse my terrible camera. You can see it though. And then right behind it's the dead one. That didn't work. See, so I got an exacto I can point at him. This one right here. Failed. I did try to add one there, but but this guy looks good. Right there. Otherwise, everything else looks good. So we'll see, especially since they're grafted in a couple weeks here. 
as long as they continue to take and the stocks don't reject them and push them off we'll be able to tell exactly what we got there if they'll if they start showing signs of growth <clears throat> no, we just got one more just a set of three graphs these are all EROP number one from Richard Hip and I, honestly I can't tell you anything about these cactus I have no clue what they are um, and the, as far as the background and the genetics but that's a great conversation starter for Richard Hip if he ever comes back to the Facebook groups and starts chatting again, which I'm sure he will, but just a matter of time. So there's an update on a few things that I did a couple weeks ago, maybe like a week ago at the most. Got some decomposing leaves going on in there. I got to get rid of that stuff. You don't want to leave things like that in there. Um, regardless, thank you for watching. And I'll have more stuff up soon. Probably going to do some demonstrations of micro-grafting. And try to get something set up. So, happy cactusing. Thanks again.